so I'm running just a little bit late. Apparently my granite is coming between four and six o'clock. So I am en route coming from my Rosedale Park project where I had to build up a little short 34 and a half inch wall and then um, go across the back of it with some sanded um, birch wood just to clean it up so that the back portion that's exposed is not looking all crazy looking in Karen at home. And so she can finally go ahead and order um, or not order because it's already paid for but request for the measurement and for them to finally put in the order to go ahead and cut the granite to scale. Let's see how this works out. As remember, earlier today I was told that they were getting ready to export it and bring it to the property and apparently it cracked right at the sink area. So we're going to see how this goes today. This has just been, whew, I have never gone this long on a 203K project. Never, never had to follow an extension. Never really had to extend any of my projects. I've always finished all my projects on time. If I give a date, I'm going to move heaven and earth to make sure that I meet that deadline. Unless it's something just just extraordinary happens where luckily for my east side project well not luckily but the weather played a huge part in it as well with all the rain and, you know and then the cold days and not being able to get outside and get any painting done that's the thing about michigan weather it's just it's up and down it's here or there it's just it's just crazy so finally our painting is done outside but then I have this, uh, these two steps and, and a portion of, of a walkway that needs to come out that's like giving us the drizzling shits trying to get it out. <sighs> but I'm hoping that my concrete guy made it over there and that he's able to just to get it done. Drop my pillars in, pour my concrete in for my footings and... Um, to allow me to go ahead and start running the boards and everything for the for the small porch. It's only a four by four foot porch that I have to build, which is nothing, but that's holding me up. Holding me up big time. Oh. And then this weather yesterday we, we were at 80 degrees. Today we're barely at 60. Michigan weather is nutty. It's nutty. But as you guys know, I did shave one side of, of my head. My side that I've always been embarrassed about. That I that I never wanted to expose. I'm liking that my ear is like exposed off to the side. I can't wait to do it up in some of the the little fancy do's that I do makes me look a little boyish, but then it makes me look kind of, kind of rock starish too, you know? So I'm digging it. I really, really like it. My husband hasn't really paid much attention as far as to it. He came in yesterday and he kind of looked at me. He kind of saw that I looked a little bit different, but uh, he couldn't quite put his finger on it because I'm always doing something, something crazy. But I shaved a lot of pain off the side of of my uh, of my head, you know, just with with everything that I've I've dealt with, that I've been through, you know, this side of my head, you know, had some, you know, some turmoil, you know, from my last marriage and fighting with 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 my husband, my, with my ex husband, and him just taking taking his hand and just twirling my hair into his hand and then pulling it, and yanking it from my scalp, and you know, for years. 14 years you know that the way that I've worn my hair has always been to cover that side up to disguise that to always not expose that you know and then this bruise I have a bruise under my eye from 
you know, um, him digging his, his, his hands in, into my face and not letting my face go. And, and it dug so deep into my skin that it, 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 it caused a, a nice little deep scar in my face that's just like, it's just the craziest thing. And so I've lived with this for years and years and years, and you know, just being embarrassed, you know, by by all of it. And so, you know, just just finally, just just letting it go, letting it go, letting it go. And man, after I did it, I looked in the mirror and I said, "This looks kind of fucking cool. I kind of feel like a damn African warrior princess or some shit." Ah! out for battle or something now I'm like oh what can I do with it now I kind of want to you know take get get some henna tattoos you know and and, and and have some some uh some little some little designs and shit draw in it and everything you know make it look extra cool you know and my daughter she looked she said mommy can I cut my hair like that no honey because my daughter has locks too but no, honey. No, 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 no. Not, not quite yet. Not quite yet. But, oh my God. It just, you just don't know. If, you, if you've never been through bullshit, and I would never wish this on anyone, you know, because some women don't make it out. I made it out. I made a decision to say, fuck this. I'm done with your ass. I haven't eaten anything today and I'm sitting up here drinking this Pepsi. Bad, bad deal. Who is 410? Or maybe it's 405. I always set my clocks five minutes fast. I gotta make it to this east side and I know 94 is just gonna be on jam. It's gonna be crazy. So you know what? I think I'm gonna stay on 75 and then pop over to 94 from 75. See how that works out for me. Oh oh. Watch my driving. Sorry, my bad. Oh, he's flying. He's trying to get somewhere on time. He either gonna get that live or dead the way he's driving. He's gonna slow it down, dummy. Ooh, everybody's speeding today. estimates today, but got to the office, no internet, no phones, no nothing. And I'm like, what's going on? I go into the back of my building and my line is severed. I don't know if it was purposely done or not, because I have police cameras. I am gonna go back and look at look at my cameras, well the last footage. But they came out, they made me their first run this morning. And he came out, totally blew my morning. Totally blew my morning. So I ended up flipping my day so that I could, since they couldn't install the granite early this morning, I flipped my day and went to the Rosedale Park project decided to come to this one last because tomorrow I'll be in a board meeting for two and a half hours. We've had so many shootings. It's 
like, it's just ridiculous what the hell is going on in the city. It's ridiculous. I mean, four women killed. And it's like, you know, these women are out here. You can't, you know, that's why I told my daughter, I, you know, I want, I need my daughter to get a CPL. I, I really need her to get a CPL. Because this is just, this is crazy. I mean, we got some cowardly ass men out here that's just taking out whatever, whatever anger, whatever, on, on, on women. Defenseless women. It's like, how the fuck does that make you feel? To take someone's life that's weaker than yours. Or that's weaker than you. This shit is crazy and it's sad. hate when I, when I forget Maybelline. I can't be forgetting Maybelline. But I'm about to upgrade in a minute. I'm about to invest in that 38 with that laser sight. Without my glasses, guess what? It's hard to see distances. But guess what? A red dot? I can see a red dot. Oh, come on, freeway. Be open. Be open, baby. Oh, you open, sugar. Uh-huh. It's mama running late. Mama done waited long enough. These cabinets have been set for seven weeks. Seven. Stress reliever. I want to take yoga. I can start stretching. Get limber. Get low. 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 Traffic? And it's probably they, they probably just gawking at something. It's probably an accident up here, and everybody trying to look and loo and see what happened. Now, why y'all gonna wait to get over? There's too many trucks out here to be playing around now. I got sawdust in my eyes. Oh, I need a really thin filler piece. I have a cabinet that's not lining up. It's the craziest thing. Coming in at like a like a slight angle, 
if I need to cut. Actually, I'm gonna have to actually cut the piece, kind of like a. It's like a little triangle in order to to get it to fit right, fold out. I never had that happen to me before setting cabinets. Texting and drive. Who she texting? Who she texting? It is not that important. Not in no damn rush hour traffic. That damn text can wait, honey. Keep your damn eyes on the road for you fuck somebody up. Take somebody's life. If you're trying to get a message across, the hell with that person. Grandma too? Oh, you crazy as shit. Should I say great grandma shit? Because I'm a grandma. Ooh, this traffic bites. Oh, that's the last thing I should be drinking too. It's a damn pop. I had nothing to eat. Absolutely nothing. I had two cups of coffee. And nothing else. I haven't even had a piece of my ginger candy. I haven't had anything. Tied me over. Oh, that mercy! I can't, I can't be missing no 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 granite people. And if I'm I'm not there, they better sit their asses there and they better wait for me. Crazy hmm. shit! They better not have the audacity to attempt to walk off. As long as I've been waiting for their asses. My cabin has been set for seven weeks. Shit. And my grant had been paid for since February. Shit. Uh, unfair uh, rating practices uh, from our insurance companies throughout the state. We know the power oh, yep. of the insurance. That's always a problem. Insurance rates is through the damn roof. I know my why mine is high. It's because Pookie and Ray Ray always just loving my shit. I can't have nothing nice. As so soon as I have something nice, it come Pookie ass doing the drive by. And then two days later, Ray Ray ass coming to take it. But I think all that shit is is, is, is is inside work. Where you buy your property, where you buy your cars. Somebody in there sending, sending out some paperwork. Okay, we just sold this, 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 and this. Brand new rims. Go get them. You know. Because it's just mighty damn ironic the way that the shit happens. Crazy as shit. We need this particular car. Just like in the damn movies. They send them out there. We need this, this, and this. We need a Charger. We need a Cadillac. We need a Ferrari. Go get it. And that's what they ask us go do. And then they so damn brazen. They came inside my garage. How the hell you knew what was inside my garage? How? 
and then you brazen enough to come in my garage? Seriously? That's crazy. They came in my garage. Because at that time, I didn't park my car on the street. I only parked it inside the garage. So how the hell you knew what was inside my garage? Unless, number one, you were watching me, or, number two, somebody gave you some inside information that there is a, you know, 2016 Lincoln over there. Go get it. Shit, it's just crazy. So I know why my shit high. You know, but even prior to that, though, even before any claims, my insurance was still stupid. And even my homeowner's insurance fucking rough. No claims, no nothing. But I'm paying $6,000 a year for homeowner's insurance. Make that shit make sense to me. privacy fencing off my yard this year and once I privacy fence that sucker off gonna give me a nice vicious ass dog back there and she's gonna tear your asshole out you get over that fence and I'm gonna make sure he ain't gonna be smitten by you throwing no damn rack of rack of lamb or no damn pack of hamburgers over there either gonna sniff that shit gonna put it in the corner and come right back and tear a hole in your ass that's the kind of dog I need. It's these folks. They brace. Almost there. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Get me there. Get me there. It's 425. Am I going to make it? I don't know if I'm going to make it for this yoga. And Madison is really, really looking forward to yoga. I'm looking forward to yoga.
good baby. I like to see the ones that get rescued. I'm, I'm just scared of them damn things around, around my kids. I'd rather rear one up, but... And then even still, I'm still kind of... Uh, I don't know. Most people be like, nah, it's in the way they were raised. And then my future daughter-in-law was just telling me the one that they had got into a fight with another dog and both the dogs tore each other apart to the point to where both of them had to be put down. But come to find out the dog was, the dog's parents I believe were, were fighters and the female dog wouldn't let the boy dog mate with her so she beat the shit out of him, he beat the shit out of her and they both had to die. I'm like damn. some crazy shit. All that puss and pussy. And then to end up not getting any in the dying end? Oh, hell no. That's a horrible way to go. What the shit? I don't want to go that way. Oh, I just love tree line trees. Look at this tree. He's trying to reach across the other tree dead. It's gone, man. About to reach across to nothing. The devil living in that house. Got black roof, black windows, black everything. I don't know why they feel like cutting their grass on this block. Everybody just said, fuck it. to be at my board meeting um, by but 9 o'clock. I'm the secretary. Oh, God. I, 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 just, I just rushed and left left my other project in Rosedale Park to make it over here. And I am so sorry. I apologize. Trust me, they're working around the clock as well. It's taking longer because it's a very strong, like, it has a lot of... Uh, glass inside the materials are taking longer to polish it and make it perfectly smooth and honestly I wouldn't want you to have anything that doesn't look perfect so I, I would hate you know I wouldn't put my name on it so as much as you didn't cause the delay I, I want to do it right I cannot rush you know they're trying their best so I don't want to just you know give you a half job I, I can't do it you know, I, I warranty my yeah, I don't I don't want a half job either. You know, I, I you know I, I, I take care I, of my I clients. Put my name on it. Absolutely. It's for your house, so I treat that with lots of respect. So Okay. Okay, so, so what we do, like I said, if you want, I don't know if you have a lock box or if you don't, you can just leave like a side door open. Okay. And they can be in there. They can install everything, and then they can lock up after they leave, and they will take a picture of what the kitchen looks like. I can forward it to you, and I can let you know what time they're leaving from there. Okay. Lock, lock everything up, and then if you have any questions, you feel free to call me because this is my cell phone. Okay. 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 Let's, um... And I feel bad. You know, like I said, my heart goes in the street. I've been waiting a long time, and I wouldn't want it to... 
Yeah, yeah, Can it I is. Because I, 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 and the crazy thing about it, I had requested you guys information because I was like, you know, what is going on? What kind of company is this where, you know? Now we did give you that number, so you call me directly. Yeah. And now we make sure you're taken care of. Okay. He's got to pop this madness. You're not the only, you know, client that is telling me this. And I'm as shocked because, like I said, I don't. I do this for a living. I take a lot of pride on what I do. I don't like to lie to people. I don't like to, you know, cut corners because it comes back to me. I, I'm exactly. Not here for, I'm here for a long run, and I know where you're gonna go if you ever need somebody, you know, to get ran for family or friends. People remember, you know, a good experience, and they will come back. But you know, a horrible one, you'll be like, I'm done. This is exactly. Exactly. So what I can do for you. When the guy is coming there, if you tell me right now, and I will tell Meredith, he has not even mentioned anything about measuring nothing. Okay. But I'm doing this right now for you. Yeah. So I'm going to put it on the schedule. Okay. That tomorrow, while they install the kitchen, they have to measure, what is it? Is it a bar, bathroom, what is it? This this one is over on it's it's um uh uh the address is uh one four three five nine Rosemont. Oh, it's a different house. Yeah, the the, the other one is that this one here is on Autobahn that you're doing tomorrow. Oh, okay. Let me write this down. Or if it helps you, can you text it to me? That way, I have it in a text. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So, what, what do you do? Do you do uh, rentals, real estate for a living? Well, no, I do. Um, I do. I'm a, I'm a licensed builder. I do 203k uh, renovations um, for clients, and mainly kitchen, bathroom, and basement remodels. But we also do full, full um, home remodels as well. 
And like I said, I, I've, I've never, you know, my two or three K remodels, I'm usually done within three to four months. You know, I've That's never, this one, I had to file an extension on it because of him. Wow. Yeah. I, I've, I've maybe never so, gone through anything so, like this. Maybe there is a reason behind this. Okay, just so you know. Our company, I would love to first of all be able to meet you in person. Okay. Second, we are a company that does cabinets and granite, and I'm not trying to steal any way from him, but if he's screwing this over and you're going to go elsewhere, then I would love for you to come in and see what we offer and what we do. And we also offer the 2020 design, so you don't have to worry. We come in, we get measurements, and we give you the whole design, unless you already have one that's even easier for us. Okay. And we can place it out with pretty much any cabinet out there, because we deal with over 20 different cabinet companies, anywhere from Smart to um, Lafada, which is more of a high-end, but mm -hmm. we pretty much have it, everything in between. Julie's our cabinet girl, and the best part is that you don't have to worry about scheduling anything because between the cabinet's arrival, we deliver them on the job site. Mm -hmm. All you have to tell me is how many days it takes for your guys to install it, and then we automatically we'll give you a price at the same time that we would give you a price on cabinets because I have a layout, so you would have pricing on everything. And then within five to seven business days, the granite is done after the cabinets are installed. Wow. Just so you know. And wow. we're moving up out. We're off 11 miles to Machino and Rosebud. I'm going to text you my address. Okay. So just keep this in mind, you know. And, and like I said, you know, and leave it good terms. You don't have to aggravate the situation. I've dealt with probably seven or eight tears clients and I'm telling you the last three were in tears and it's not a normal way how to run the business but no. I tried literally had almost a 30 minute conversation with Terry telling him how I need this thing to work because it's really tough exactly. to talk to these clients when they're frustrated they have reached their you know breaking point and now you're introducing me as part of your company. I'm like, no, 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 no. Exactly. I don't want to affiliate it with this nightmare because I don't want to put my name in anything that I, first of all, had no clue about. Exactly. Well, now there's six, seven jobs that have been pending, you know, for over two, three weeks, and we get bits and pieces of information. See, that's that's and ridiculous. Sudden, right? He comes in and goes, oh, I need this by tomorrow. I'm like, you've had it for three weeks. We emailed you five times for information and you ignore it and now all of a sudden you're telling me you need it tomorrow exactly tomorrow? That, that that's that's ridiculous that's ridiculous and and like outrageous. i said yeah and, and, and like exactly and like i said i paid for the cabinets and the granite over thirteen thousand dollars in february oh my god i did that in oh. february yeah yeah, and you it's like what? every time it just keeps getting pushed out, pushed out. Oh, they're installing this week. Oh, they're installing that week. I went on vacation April 6th, came back oh, April 13th. Uh, he claims that that he was they were trying to get in to measure. And I said, just call my husband. He's still there. He'll let uh, you in. Never called my husband. Then I came back into town on the 13th. It was another two weeks before someone got out to measure. And then uh, every time you turn around, the date just kept getting pushed back, pushed back. Oh, they're coming to install on Wednesday. Oh, they're coming to install on Thursday. Oh, they're, they're coming They're coming to install between Friday and Saturday. You know, oh, they're coming Monday and Tuesday. This, this is awesome. Yeah, and, and I told them, I said, I said, give me the name of, uh, of, of, of the company that's installing the countertop because I don't believe what it is that you're saying. This is not now, making any sense. You know that you were scheduled last week and we had everything ready and he called last minute and he canceled because he didn't have a sink? He didn't have the sink. You know what he said? Right. You know what he said? He said that the sink, he said that the sink was bent and when you guys were trying to oh install the sink into the, you know, attach it to the granite, it wouldn't install because it was bent and so he had to send it back and then have another sink overnighted. I said pathological lie. Oh my god. I'm gonna send you the <laughs> I'm gonna send you the checks. Oh my god, this is insane. Oh my god. I paid we paid seven hundred and, and some odd dollars for that sink you know, a, a you've month been ago. Scheduled to be installed like since 
last week. Wow. And he kept calling and changing it. And then he finally called series like I got really pissed off at him because you were on schedule last Thursday, right? And that's when we finally got all the pieces of information together. And I said, so where is the sink theory? He goes, the client is supposed to supply that, but I haven't heard back. So then he goes, I called this company, but they couldn't deliver on time. But I'm going to, you know, see if I can get another company to do it. And then he calls me back. He's like, can you find the sink? So he gave me all the information for the sink. Oh, my I God. I told my people. And I said, unfortunately, Terry, this will take a longer time to be delivered. So he goes, no worries. I'll find it. So then he calls. He texts me back. And I'll, I'll send you the text. He emailed me, actually, saying, this is the confirmation for DHS that will deliver the sink. On oh, Saturday. My God. And I literally had to jump through hoops and had to pay my guys overtime on a Saturday to stay in late and they cut the whole thing without even having the sink here. So when the sink arrived, they had to come in and work a couple of hours on Sunday to have to cut for the sink so the job would be ready on Monday. So this is outrageous and when they were trying to put it on the truck, it they one of the guys is you know newer and he bent it a certain way and it just snapped it it broke the the sink part broke so they had to redo the l shape basically where the sink is but because i i only had two slabs they had to cut a brand new slab to do that and it's taken much longer because it's like a it's a harder granite okay i not believe what i'm hearing this is like oh my black, god like soap opera yeah yeah. I'm telling you, the guy is not worth the time. No, the no. Oh, I'm All done. All I tell you is that things happen for a reason. Yeah. I'm so glad that he was able to forward me your number because the minute this happened, I told Terry in panic. I said, please, you know, let the client know we're running a little bit behind. He's like, nobody lives there. It's okay. I'm like, no, but I want to make sure, you know, she's aware of what's going on. He goes, you know what? Just talk to her yourself. And that's how he sent me your number. Wow. And I'm glad he did because this is a nightmare. So yeah. I would love to be able to meet you in person. Yes. And, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, have some of your nightmares. And, you know, we're a very legit, like I said, I treat people like I want to be treated because that's what kept me in business for 17 years. So mm -hmm. it's a simple concept to me. Exactly. You know, priorities are my clients. And if I cannot deliver, guess what? You're going to hear the truth nothing but the truth because to me it's harder to keep up with lies and exactly exactly i can just simply tell you the truth and that's it you exactly. know you might not be happy about it but you'd rather work with that than oh my i can seven weeks i would have oh my god yeah yeah, seven that weeks. Boy, it's seven weeks. It got to the point to where I, 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 my, my whole demeanor and my conversation with him began, be, became one of, you know, motherfucker. I need this done. Wow. This is ridiculous. I just cannot believe, honestly. But you're not the first one. We've dealt with some drama, and like I said, by the time the guys, the, the clients get to me. They are already in a depression mode, so they are crying their eyes out. So it's like, not only I have to put pressure into making the job fast, right? And not only he didn't make the full payment, he's bullshitting on the phone, and I told him, unless I guess the full payment, I'm not doing it. But he's like, please do it for me, blah, blah, blah. And I literally did it with just deposit, but normally I don't trust the guy. Yeah. I just full payments if you want me to make it happen exactly here. and he's been paid since february roller coaster. Wow. yeah he's he's, he's been paid since since february into this whole construction business yeah ridiculous. yeah and even for the other project uh, over over on over on uh on rosemont that one uh like oh, i said that autobahn is that yours too uh, autobahn and rosemont are mine oh my god girl oh, yeah you're yeah wow. yeah Always and I told him, you know, for, 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 for the Rosemont, yeah, because the Rosemont property, the, the client wanted, she wanted white, but she wanted, she wanted like white granite with, with, with little, with a little bit of gray or something like that in it. And I told him, I said, you, you know, and I told him that back in February though. 
oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, and he showed me some samples and everything, and okay, and, and I think we, we pick one out, but then it's, 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 been, it's been so long ago, and now, you know, oh we've God. just been going back and forth, back and forth. Every time he'd make a cabinet delivery, you know, something was missing. Wow. A cabinet was missing. Two cabinets. Wow. Were, and then it would take weeks for, 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 for one cabinet to come or two cabinets to come. And, you know, and so I'm sitting here like, this is ridiculous. And my clients are looking at me like I'm crazy. And I'm like, you know, I, and I told him, I said, your, your, your communication skills suck. They suck. I don't, I don't think it's that. I think it's just he just can't keep up with the lives he makes. And I mean, I exactly so many times, and believe me or not, my whole office rolled my the eyes at me every time I deal with Timber because they would just deal with Jerry. They're like, the guy's a liar, and he's not a dependable person, period. That's exactly. So, exactly. You know, like I said, maybe something good will come out of this. I will keep in touch with you, and we're going to make sure. Um, if you send me the other address, I will make sure that that is the measure tomorrow one way or another okay and then you know just bear with me for these three four jobs we're forced to go through terry because of the deal that you you know made together mm -hmm. but other than this trust me you want to first of all meet me here in my showroom because okay you need to see what we're capable of doing okay and you're gonna get to see you know how day and night the whole you know customer service is, you know, like we're liable about what we do and like I said, our pricing is extremely reasonable so you're not, you know, it's not like you're sacrificing quality by dealing, you know, with exactly. your, we're family owned so we don't really have you know, the overheads that a large company Exactly. Has. And see, my, my, my so, company is family owned too and it's yeah, just, so this I, is I, just, yeah, it's I crazy. I, I really respect that. You know, yeah. I know how how many hats you have to change a day to make things work. But, exactly. You know, but, you know, let's just honestly not waste time on Terry. Let Terry be Terry. Terry's going to have to learn at some point how this whole creation is going to go. For right now, let's be productive and move forward. Okay. Let's get you measured in these jobs. All right. And uh, for anything, please communicate with me. You know, I hate that he's doing this whole nightmare. I need confirmation on sinks, material, everything. I, If I get everything, the measurements, material, confirmation, everything, I have no problem in installing you as early as Tuesday the 28th, as long as you have, you know, the cabinets, everything is ready to go. Okay. I can install you between Tuesday the 28th and Wednesday the 29th. Okay. Those are the dates available. Okay. I'm going to shoot you the address because I, I, I know my client, she leaves for work, I believe, at 12 o'clock um, every day. Early in the morning, I can prioritize you. See, Wednesday the 29th, I can do it between 8.30 and 9.30 in the morning. So. Okay. Wednesday the 29th between 8.30 and 9.30 in the morning. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to shoot you her address and then tomorrow. What about which, uh... Huh? Which city is the house located? Uh, both of them are in Detroit. Got yeah, I, I'm going to shoot you the lockbox code for uh, for Autobahn as well. So you said 8.30 tomorrow morning? Uh, yeah, tomorrow morning. They will probably most likely install you first and then go to Autobahn right after that. Well, no, uh, Autobahn. That, this is the one that has that that's getting installed. Is that Autobahn? Oh, yeah. yeah. So basically they will install you at Autobahn at 8.30. And when they're done, they're going to measure Rosemont. Uh, other house that is in Detroit, yep. which I'm um, for the address from you. Mm-hmm. Perfect. And yep. then um, if I have any questions, I will call you tomorrow. Okay. Just to clarify everything, and then we'll just, you know, we'll just have to make it happen for you. Okay, cool, cool. All right. Well, it's a pleasure then talking to you, and you definitely be in touch. Pleasure talking to you, too, and I'm going to shoot, shoot you over the, the, uh, the text right now. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Bye. Is that not some shit? I knew it. I, I knew it. <laughs> she said he just sent her a down payment, and I paid for all of my shit in full in February. That's some straight bullshit. 
straight bullshit. <laughs> oh, way. Oh, way. Straight bullshit. Unbelievable. <laughs> I, I knew some shit was going on. I knew some shit was going on. That's why I'm like, I am, I am confident. <laughs> I am 100% confident that I am done with this company. Done. Hmm. Ooh, we. Mm, mm, mm. People be on some bullshit. Wow. Uh, uh, uh. Boy, I tell you. all the way over here for my granite no granite but hey I you know I got to talk to her family owned business and everything and <laughs> that's why I asked for her her number a while back I was like I, I need their number because I, I just I, I'm I cannot believe that a company is 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 constantly keep changing appointments and you know pushing me back and so on and so forth like this this doesn't make any sense and true enough, it didn't make any sense. It wasn't them. It was him. But I'm good. I'm good. I am so good. So good. Well, I tell you. Motherfuckers and flies. <laughs> 